Hey filmmakers Shungni here, welcome to another throwback first day. In this video we're going to teach you a pretty old technique called the Ken Burns effect. This is actually one of the first effects that I learned in filmmaking or uh, video editing. Because the first video that I actually had to do proper editing was a event video which used a lot of photos that I took of an event to make a video out of. So there's a link in the description below if you're interested in seeing that video. However, we're now going to show you how to achieve the Ken Burns effect. So what the Ken Burns effect is, is literally zooming into certain parts of the video slowly or move, adding movement to your uh, clips. Or actually like if you have photos, you can actually add movements to those photos. So here we have two photos here already added. I'm actually in Yokohama and I took a few pictures here. Actually, I used the panorama mode, so we have like pretty high resolution images. So you can see actually the scale of them are pretty high. So these are already scaled down to 28%. And we're going to add some Ken Burns effect. And let's see, this first one actually, I think, be interesting just have a pen left and right. So we actually this is quite a large image and we have actually a lot of extra megapixels on the side to play with. So we're gonna move this here to this side and we're going to add a positioning keyframe here. Move this all the way to this side and then we'll move the image to the other side so we don't start to see black and then move it back and then move this keyframe over here. So when we play this video clip, we can see this movement from left to right. But actually, I want it to be the other way around. So we're going to swap these keyframes. So we're going to move this to the front and this one to the back. And we see a nice can burns going to that side. And for the heck of it, we're going to add a keyframe of zooming in. We're going to toggle here, add a keyframe here. And we're going to scale up a little bit, not too much. Maybe like that. Move that to the end. And if we play it, we see like it's scaling up and moving towards that ferris wheel. It's maybe moving a little bit too much on the zoom. So we're gonna change this to 35. Maybe that would make it less quicker. That looks nicer. And here we have this and let's actually start with this one just adding scale just adding so we're going to hit here toggle animation to add a keyframe and we're going to yeah maybe also 35 and we're just gonna zoom in if we play see this nice slow zoom in effect and Maybe we want to have it zooming into the this Ferris wheel. I'm gonna press toggle animation here. I'm gonna move this here. Maybe also up a little bit. Gonna move this to the back. And when we play it, see it more zooming into this ferris wheel so that is pretty much how you achieve the Ken Burns effect it's just uh, adding keyframes for the scale and adding keyframes for the positioning to give you that extra movement in your images instead of that they are static and especially if you have like a lot of photos that you're going to edit and put into your video is much more interesting to have like a slight movement if in them 
using the Ken Burns effect and using tons of static images that are cut to the beat. So that was mainly it. Hopefully you guys find this video quite educational. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button here below and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye bye.